So today I'm recording using my iPhone because I want to show you how you can record and edit your YouTube videos just using a smartphone. So the first thing is you should stand by a window. If you don't have a lighting kit, just stand by a window to get some natural light so that your face is nicely lit. Now if you're going to do like vlogging where you walk around and talk like this, that's totally fine. But if you are going to be doing some kind of instructional, informative video, try to use a tripod so that your video doesn't shake like my video is doing right now. Now to record and edit your videos today, you're going to be using the Vlogit app, which is available for both Android and Apple users. So the first thing we're gonna do is log in, or you can opt to explore as a guest. So here we're on the dashboard, ready to start editing. So I'm going to, since I already recorded some clips, I'm going to add from the library. If you wanted to record right now, you could go from the camera. So I have this clip and that clip. So these are in the right order. Um, if I wanted to rearrange, I totally could just by dragging and dropping, but I want them right there. Now I want to see what I can do to edit. So here are some options with trimming, splitting, um, cropping, just a few different options to edit your videos. I want to trim my video. So I'm going to drag this little slider. Um, and so I might cut off a little bit on the beginning and a little bit on the end. Now, if I want, I can add some stickers, some text, um, even transitions down here at the bottom. If I want to add some text, I will put some um, right here and then move it so that I can see it. That looks good. Done there. Sticker. If you want to add emojis or stickers, totally can in this little window. Audio, I could add some music or do some effects or even add a voiceover, which would be great if I'm shooting B-roll or, you know, doing a house tour, anything of that nature. Then here I could add a video, um, any photos, more titles, even a solid color background or a box of color on my video. Um, anything of that nature, lots of options to integrate other things into your video. Now I'd like to add a transition between my two clips. Um, so I'm going to see what some of these options are. I'm going to do the push. So that one's pretty good. Speed. Now if I was doing, again, any B-roll footage, something like that, um, this would be a good place to slow it down or speed it up. But since I'm talking on camera, I don't want to adjust the speed here. You can also add filters. So this would be kind of fun, um, but these are a little too crazy colors for my liking. So even though they do kind of look cool, this would be maybe something I used on Instagram or Facebook, but not YouTube. Now I'm going to export my video so I can upload it on YouTube. The nice part is I can also create a thumbnail right here in the app. And since thumbnails are important for YouTube, I want to be sure and do that as well. So I'm going to capture a thumbnail. We're just going to pretend that this screenshot of my computer will suffice. Obviously, this is not a great thumbnail, but you can see there are different options for adding text, even changing the fonts, make the font bigger, add some stickers if I want. So really simple, easy ways to create a thumbnail on your phone. I want to save to my camera roll. Now I'm back on the home dashboard. I need to go back and export my video to my phone so I can actually upload it. I could also save it to Dropbox or email it, anything I want to do. But now it's ready to go live.
So there you have it. It is that easy to start recording and editing your videos. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe for future tutorials. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see y'all in the next video.